There are a lot of presumptions we make about sociopaths. Many people assume they're all ambitious, manipulative, and cruel. The truth is that sociopaths are still just people. And like all other people, they use the skills and lessons they learn in life to improve their lives. That's a really simple way of looking at it, but it applies to everyone, whether you are a sociopath or not. When it comes to interpersonal relationships and socializing, sociopaths have a unique way of navigating that landscape. Sometimes it isn't always malicious, it's just the way they have adapted. The term sociopath usually applies to people with antisocial personality disorder, but over time, it's been used interchangeably with psychopaths because of the many features they share. So these are the signs that someone's charm is not genuine, but sociopathic. Number one, they always say what is correct. Sociopaths don't always have robust social intelligence. Researcher Harman Maffert and colleagues published a study in Brain that found sociopaths do have the capacity for empathy, but it isn't used automatically. Their empathy has to be consciously turned on for them to use it, which they rarely do because it usually isn't advantageous. Instead of empathizing, sociopaths will know what they're supposed to say and will say what you want to hear or what is correct. If you find that someone is always agreeing with you or appealing to your emotions without any counter-argument, they may be using their sociopathic charm. If you want an exaggerated example, think of Patrick Bateman's monologue in American Psycho, where he describes how important it is to end world hunger and apartheid. Even though we know he doesn't actually care about any of the noble causes he talks about, he knows it's the right thing to say in front of the people he associates himself with. Most psychopaths and sociopaths aren't murderous monsters like Patrick Bateman, but it's hard to find examples of sociopaths in books, TV shows, and movies that don't involve murder. Number two, fake emotions. They don't just say the right things, they have to fake emotions too. Without a wellspring of emotions to draw from, they have to mirror other people. They learn this from a young age and become extremely adept at applying the right emotion at the right time. They can pretend to be riled up over something they say they aren't passionate about, and they can cry over something they couldn't care less about. They might act like they're completely infatuated with you if they think that's what will charm you, or they'll act disinterested if they think that will intrigue you more. Despite not truly feeling emotions, sociopaths are able to respond to emotions so effectively that they are indistinguishable from neurotypical people. A study measuring the facial responsiveness of psychopaths to the emotional responsiveness of others found that there is almost no difference in how people with ASPD respond compared to neurotypical people. If you get the feeling that what someone is saying or doing feels performed, they might have sociopathic traits. But sociopaths are relatively rare. Any disorder that might make someone struggle with social situations may give off a performative feeling. People with autism, for example, might also seem like they're performing. Therefore, it's important not to assume that someone is a sociopath based on a single trait or observation. Number three, a lack of a real attachment system. Usually we build an attachment system with our friends and family over time. We can be more charming in front of people we're comfortable with. Sociopaths don't form attachment systems like that because their charm is practiced and performative. They can turn on the charm with anyone at any time. If someone is weirdly charming with you even though you don't know them, they could be trying to use a learned type of charm. It's important to keep in mind that not everyone is naturally charming and people can learn how to use their hands and body language when they speak to come across as more charismatic. Sociopaths may do it constantly and consciously. Number four, they keep you talking. A sociopath can benefit from allowing you to do all the talking. It gives them something to play off of and study. They will learn what you need to hear or see in order for them to charm you, but it has the added benefit of making them come across as mysterious, which many people find attractive. They keep information about themselves to themselves. If you find yourself doing all of the talking, you might start to feel annoyed that you're carrying the conversation, but sociopaths know how to keep you talking and how to seem invested. One way they can keep you talking is through number five, love bombing. Everyone knows compliments feel really good. When I say everyone, I mean everyone, including sociopaths. They know that compliments and flattery can make people open up to them. For neurotypical people, receiving compliments make us want to share compliments. We understand how warm it makes us feel inside and it encourages us to get along with the people that compliment us. For sociopaths, compliments are just another tool that they can use to endear themselves to whoever they're speaking to. So if you feel like you're being pandered to, the person you're talking to may be trying to get you to warm up to them in a calculated sociopathic way. Number six, hot and cold. Once a sociopath knows that they have you hooked, they might play the hot and cold game with you to make you more infatuated with them. Sometimes they'll be the best person ever, supporting you through whatever you need, inviting you out, and making you feel like they care about you. Then out of nowhere they won't answer your messages and you're worried that they don't like you anymore. Now you feel as though you have to prove your value to them. This isn't real charm, they've just tricked you into seeing them as something they aren't. 
The charm that sociopaths can wield often helps them get what they want. Whether it's relationships or promotions, they know how to get it. Is there someone in your life that you suspect might be a sociopath? Have you caught yourself doing some of these? If you enjoyed this video, let us know by leaving a like. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this.